Hi, let me quickly walk you through the top features and improvements in WPML 4.7 Beta, and you can start testing it right away. First, we completely redesigned the translation dashboard. It is now a single unified page for translating your entire site. Look, here's the translation dashboard of the live WPML.org site, which is huge, with thousands of posts and pages. We also have a lot of different types of content. WPML 4.7 makes it easy to see all content types at a glance with a separate section for each type. If I wanted to translate something specific, let's say an FAQ article, I would just expand the FAQ section and select what I need. But now I want to translate a few posts, so I close this and scroll back to posts. After selecting the posts I need, I scroll down to step 2, which shows an estimated word count and allows me to select how to translate my content. I'll use automatic translation for all languages, scroll down and start the translations. And it's as simple as that. Now, even on huge sites like WPML.org, finding and translating content is easy. Next, let me show you how straightforward it is now to translate text from themes and plugins on your site. You'll find a new section for this in the translation dashboard, but it also comes with a crucial new feature. As you probably know, you don't need to translate all the strings in your site. Only those that you can see are missing translations. To do this, simply visit your site's front end in a secondary language and find the untranslated strings. In this case, I have this button here. And some untranslated text in the footer. As you do this, WPML automatically identifies the strings and adds them to your list. So, simply return to the translation dashboard, and you will now be able to find your strings and send them for translation. By default, the translation dashboard displays items that are not completed. And in the other text section, you can now filter to see only text that you viewed on the front end. WPML notices all strings that you visit so that you don't have to waste time on identifying them yourself. Because of this, you can safely select all these front end strings and send them for translation. Let's check the front end. And there it is. One of the top requests for the advanced translation editor was to allow editing paragraphs as one big segment, and this is exactly what you can do now. A paragraph is no longer divided into sentences, but you can translate it as a whole, as one item for better context and streamlined workflow. But that's not all. The advanced translation editor now groups related fields and mirrors the WordPress layout, making translations more intuitive. Here you can see how nicely custom fields from the ACF plugin are grouped for easy translation and better context. And as another example, it's the same for fields from the Yoast SEO plugin. Finally, we've also prepared the beta versions for key compatibility plugins, so you can fully test them with WPML 4.7 beta. Ready to test? Simply go to your test site and make sure it's running the latest production version of WPML. Next, go to the Plugins page, click the Add New Plugin button, and then click the Commercial tab. Click to check for updates. Then, in the Updates channel, use the drop-down menu to select Beta and Confirm. WPML will automatically switch all available plugins to the Beta version. And that's it! Share your feedback and suggestions in the comments section of the announcement post, which we link to in the description of this video. We're looking forward to hearing from you.